the wait was so worth it for this one. Guys, please meet Wes Audio Prometheus, legendary Pultic equalizer in 500 series. Stereo, dual mono, mid-side, digitally controlled, and it sounds like a million bucks. Here we go. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbest TV, hope you're having a great day. If you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, check the info box down below for my mixing courses and a bunch of useful links, comments and shares are always appreciated. Let's get to the video. You guys know how much I love Wes Audio Gear, generally, it's no secret. I've been using the Dion on all my mixes for years now and there's a reason because I love their gear so much. All their units are full analog, the components they use are top notch and they do this consistently. And now this one, a studio standard, arguably the best sounding equalizer design ever, the Pultec EQP1. Wes Audio Prometheus is a solid state stereo Pultec. Solid state being my favorite version of Pultec and I'll explain you why in a minute. This is a stereo unit that can be also used in dual mono. That means two different tracks, vocal and bass, kick and snare and you can also use it in mid-side. This EQ, like all the other West Audio units, is digitally controlled, so you have the plugin interface there that latches to the hardware and you can control it directly from your DAW. That also means that I can write automation directly from the unit by touching the knobs. The DAW will record that and play it back, just as you would do with plugins, only this one is a full analog Pultec EQ. On the front panel, we find all the controls that you find in a classic Pultec EQ. At the top, we have the output gain and then the high cut frequency selector with four corner frequencies, 20, 12, eight, and four, and then the amount of cut. Then we have the boost for the high end, the bandwidth for the high end, and again, the frequency selector with eight frequencies. At the bottom, the classic Pultec low end with cut and boost at the same frequency, then the frequency selector going down, we have A and B, two presets accessible here from the front panel to quickly compare two settings. Bypass button, of course, hard bypass. Then the mode selector, dual mono, so we can have left, side, different settings for each, and then stereo mode, and then mid-side mode, and again, the left becomes mid and the right becomes the side and you can have two different settings of course for each channel. THD, total harmonic distortion, this is our color, it can be off, mad or high. Absolutely great sound in EQ, let's hear this in action. Oh, this is 
of my past and the shadow we cast. So unembraceable and at last, look you dead in the eyes, the peel off the sky. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We lost our whole world in one night. We won't dwell on the past and the shadow we cast. So unembraceable and at last, look you dead in the eyes. The peel off the sky, all is erasable, and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We lost our whole world in one night.
This was the new West Audio Prometheus Stereo Dual Mono Mid-Side Pultec EQ in 500 series. All the classic Pultec push-pull tricks we love and mid-side. One quick word about as to why I prefer solid-state Pultec, especially on 2-bus, especially on modern music, to 2 Pultex. It's not that I don't like 2 Pultex, but with material with a lot of low-end content, so dance, EDM, hip-hop, but also rock and metal, nowadays we do have a lot of low-end on those genres as well. Tubes can fold. If you run your whole mix in there, they can lose focus on the low-end, they can smear it a little bit, and also distort it in a non-pleasant way. Solid states remain focused, clear, punchy, powerful, and this one, as always, audio gear has a very high headroom. But this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was useful. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like. Check out West Audio. Give them some love. If you have any question, leave it in the comment down below. Also check the info box for my mixing courses. New one is coming up. Bunch of useful links in there. Follow MixBestTV on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.